Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Subnautica 101. I have good and bad news today. Uh, the bad news is that I recorded an, or I played an entire session last night, and uh, I thought I hit the I hit a button. I thought it was a recording button. Apparently, I missed. I hit the wrong key instead of the hot key. So none of it was recorded except for my voiceover. <laughs> so the whole session was lost. On the bright side of that, it uh, I didn't actually accomplish that much. I built some upgrades, as I mentioned, guys. I was going to farm some raw materials, and we were going to upgrade some things, and I did manage to do that. Um, I went to visit one wreck. Uh, that wreck was actually glitched, so I didn't actually get to do much. Uh, so I didn't really accomplish much, but I unlocked a couple things along the way. All right. Uh, the good news is that today we are going to be going on a new adventure. Uh, I'm going to be going over the same stuff I went over in the video I lost, and we're going to be going... I'm going to show you guys some areas that nobody else has really shown. Um, I haven't watched every Let's Play. I know some people have covered some of these things, but uh, they're usually covered separately and not included in guides or walkthroughs. So I am going to go where no other walkthrough maker or guide has gone before. We are going to delve into some of the secret uh, precursor locations in Subnautica, along with some other things. It's going to make a nice big adventure. Uh, probably going to wind up splitting up this video in a couple different ones. Um, but first, we'll go over some of the upgrades I acquired. Okay, just on myself, I did upgrade to the lightweight capacity tank. Um, that's really the only upgrade here. I did get a light stick with the idea of replacing the flashlight with it. Uh, that was a bad idea. It's not a good replacement. Of course, I have built my moon pool here along with the uh, vehicle modification station. And as you can see, I customized my Seamoth. It is now the Ladybug Mark One. I. I got her fully upgraded here. Uh, the ones I chose to go with, I'm keeping the storage and, of course, the depth module. Depth module has been fully upgraded now. It's uh, Mark Three. We've got, uh, I added the Seamoth Perimeter Defense, which is uh, my preferred defense system for the Seamoth. I think it's really just the best one overall. And a Solar Charger, which, you know, as long as there's sunlight out, uh, Ladybug here will recharge her energy. And which is good because the Perimeter Defense uses a lot of energy. Uh, and this is the modification station. You can use the console here to change your uh, vehicle to whatever specifications you prefer. And uh, it has its own fabricator here specifically for modification parts. And this is where you can buy them, or rather, craft them. And so you can figure out what you need to craft this, that, and the other thing. All right. I'll give you guys a quick look from the outside. I just built it right on the end here, so it's coming off. Uh, this is why I picked this precipice. You don't have to have a precipice, by the way, if uh, you're building on a flat surface. And... Uh, it doesn't have a big gap like this. You can just build, just stack a couple rooms like this here, and you can build it off this. And even though it's close to ground level, it should still have enough clearance for you to get under there with your vehicles and park them up, and it should still let you build it, because you have to have room. It has to be so high up to build. But that's all you got to do is stack it twice, maybe three times, but probably just twice, and uh, and that'll work. So that's what I did here. Uh, the moon pool has the advantage of automatically uh, recharging your ve whatever vehicles parked in it, uh, which is kind of the, one of the primary uses of it. As such, we really don't have to worry about recharging power cells anymore. Um, what else did I get? I got a few blueprints. Uh, we got nuclear reactor blueprints. Uh, I'm not going to build one of those for a while. And uh, the other thing I wanted to do is uh, get my flashlight back because this thing is this light stick is not working out the way I wanted it to <laughs> okay where's our flashlight pretty sure I just put it right in here I'll put this away I don't need it uh, I don't see it in there where did I put the flashlight guys where did I put the flashlight that's empty really it's not in here All right, I don't know what I up oh, there. Don't mind me, guys. Okay. Now we need to make five pieces of glass. I do have one more to make. One of the things I acquired, uh, I did manage to acquire at that wreck. I found in a data pad outside of it. How many pieces have I made? I think four. Make one more. All right. Oh, I made 
three, so we need one more. I did go through the process of making all the new stuff. Um, as you can see here, we can make nuclear reactor rods now for the reactor. Uh, I did make, I had to make some hydrochloric acid and some polyaniline for some of the upgrades. So I did get to do that for the first time. That's what you need the deep shrooms for. And you can use, I used salt from my water filtration machine. So it came in handy for that. Alright. Uh, now we do have some other things to discuss here. So I'll put a timestamp here if you want to skip right to the adventure. Uh, but for now, we're going to go over farming again. <laughs> now, um, I've shown you guys before, farming does work. Uh, it's just that you have to eat a lot. And then you have to replant everything that you eat. So it's it's technically the least effective way of food. Uh, it does make for an adequate resource for the bioreactor, but you only need one of these plants for that. You don't need all of this. Uh, so this is just for the food, but like I said, fish are just in generally better, uh, and this pretty much trumps the whole thing. I could literally go out and just cut a fish, and I've got to cook a meal. That's three times as effective as this stuff here. So um, the plants, the farming interior really is uh, mostly for decoration at this point and one of them for, for energy consumption, as long as you have a bioreactor. If you replace the bioreactor with a nuclear reactor, you don't need any of this. And of course, if you go with thermal and solar power only, which we could, because we're not that far from a thermal geyser. So, I could actually do that, but uh, I haven't gotten around to it. I might not. But this isn't terribly useful. <laughs> okay, that takes care of that. One other thing I want to grab here, before I get too far in, uh, not that, uh, you and you, um, I seed you, uh, let me, let me have some space here, huh? oh, I can put that quartz back, I don't need so much quartz, quartz of quartz, I had to farm some quartz, guys. I'm sorry if I'm a little overstacked on it. We're finally gonna be... I didn't mean to grab that ion cube. Okay, we got three of these. We'll be needing this for our trip, so I'll grab these now. That's right, we're checking out the secrets today. But that's in a minute. For now... What I want to do is... Uh, oh, crap. I didn't think about them. Ah... Dag nabbit. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh, I probably needed actually a little extra. All right, you know what? <laughs> All right, back up here. Back up to alien. Dropping this off. Okay. Um. So that I can drop some of this other stuff off. You know, I don't really need all this. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Grab that, and, uh... What else do I need to make that other thing? Da -da -da -da. Hatch. One piece of quartz and some extra titanium, huh? And that. And just one of these. And we're good, and that should be fine. Let's put that away in that. Okay, <laughs> now we're ready. The other thing I want to do is grab these. I didn't realize I also didn't leave enough room for that. But, I did manage to unlock alien containment. It's not letting me build it. Which means that we have to deconstruct some stuff. Ah. Inventory full. Inventory full! Mm. Let's put this back. We're gonna be getting some from what we're gonna be deconstructing down here. Okay. Okay, deconstruct this, okay, 
and cannot fit lantern feet. Hate to waste it. The inventory is full anyway. What am I thinking? I didn't want to put it in there anyway. <laughs> We're gonna need it. That's empty. That can go in there. I'm gonna empty out this room. That's apparently what I need to do. Okay, now. <laughs> there, whoop. There we go. One alien containment unit. This is what I found at the other rack. It was in a chip. Um, Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, don't consume it. <laughs> Plant that stuff. Alright, and to release the fish in here, you literally just, uh, well, you have to not be looking at the ground there. And you just uh, drop them. And since there's two of them in here, they will reproduce. Okay, and we've already planted, you can already see tiny pygmy bulb bush. Okay, a little little mushroom there, a little eye stalk, everything will be growing soon. Okay, you can also throw your eggs in there, as long as there's two fish they'll reproduce. Uh, if you throw an egg in there it will hatch. Uh, you can only fit so much in there. Uh, you can also, if you stack rooms, uh, you can build an alien containment in the, well if you build one in the lower and you go to the upper you can actually see the top of the alien containment in the floor uh, conversely if you build the alien containment in the upper you can see the bottom of the aquarium I think I actually don't know I haven't tried that <laughs> but you can probably see the bottom bottom line um, actually you probably can't you can also build another a second alien containment on the second floor and it should stack unless it, it bugs and sometimes it bugs out and it doesn't work but it should work and you'll have two tall and then it uh, increases the amount of uh, fish that'll spawn in there if you're breeding them. So that's how that works. We got the membrane tree, Koosh plant, a eye stalk, and a glow of mushroom growing here. So this will be a nice bioluminescent place. It'll have plenty of fish to eat. The Reginalds, uh, they're the best food source and technically energy source. You can throw them in the bioreactor. So uh, yeah, they'll be dinner. Oh, make sure you leave at least two in there. Uh, so that they can reproduce. All right. Now the other thing I want to do, um, I do want to use the lantern tree as a power resource. So, my bad. I think we only needed a couple. I'll grab three. What I'm going to do is replant it down here, right next to the bioreactor. Okay, we'll use a different plot th pot this time. Switch container, and a brand new one will grow right here. So we can throw the lantern fruit in here, and that'll keep it going. All right, and so that's the basics of that. And we definitely needed this alien containment for the next part that we're going to be covering in the series. Uh, this is going to be very important. So it's good that we got it now, and uh, it's also a great food source. Now before I go, I do need to get my regular supplies back because we're going far and wide today because our sea moth is souped up so she's ready to take us wherever we want to go uh, glass technically doesn't have a spot I'll just put it in here uh, these peepers are superfluous <laughs> I only got them because uh, they have food block health oh, that was another health ah uh, uh. I didn't mean to pick it up, son of a gun. Alright, what did I do with the other? I don't have any more. Alright. We'll just grab another one of these. And, uh... Yeah, we'll grab our water from downstairs. And then we're good. Go down. Yeah, you see it stops, so it's got a full plate. Um... You can take all of them, because what I like to do for extra water, 
is we'll run out and cut some coral and then we'll make from those two pieces of salt of salt sorry for the stuttering slur stuttering oh man it knocked everything over in my uh, quick bar nope no bother um, we'll get four more bottles of water out of this in addition to the two big ones which uh, give us plus 50 but this is going to be a long trip so I'm gonna bring extra I do have my knife on me so I know I can make food wherever I am we'll make two bottles of bleach so the extra water is what I'm really gonna need hopefully today we'll also find the still suit um, blueprints because that's the one thing that uh, would make us totally self-sufficient if you've got a thermal blade and a still suit you don't have to worry about food and water at all okay, we'll need the scanner uh, we'll need the knife Need the flashlight, the repair tool, the laser cutter. Okay, so now as you see, we got plenty of water and a food block just in case. Lots and lots of water. That's the name of the game. And it's nighttime, I didn't even realize. You know how what we do about nighttime, I didn't take Ladybug either. Because Ladybug's outfitted, we definitely gotta take her. Okay, let's take a quick nap. Okay, rise and shine there. Got our nice uh, reinforced dive suit on, so that'll protect us. I meant to save, sorry. Let it save, Altera, and then we'll hop in our Seamoth and get ready to go. Okay, she's fully charged with 86% health. I do have a spare battery or power cell that's fully charged. I am gonna fix her up, and we'll take her out. Okay. Welcome aboard. All systems online. Thank you, Ladybug. Uh, where we want to go today is uh, we want to head back to Life Pod 19. We're going to head in that direction. Okay. So we're going back to the sparse reef here. Back to that. A uh, large crater we found before with the wrecks. Uh, turns out there's more wrecks and other stuff. Uh, and with the perimeter defense, we really have nothing to worry about predator-wise. Remember how much trouble I was having with the uh, medium-sized predators? Well, and even larger ones I avoided altogether. We're not going to have any trouble with them. The sea moth is where the ladybug, she's hooked up. She has nothing to worry about. I did want to outfit her with a hull reinforcement because she takes so much damage. Uh, but with the perimeter defense, wow, we've already taken... Where did we take 75% <laughs> or 25% damage? That's why I wanted the hull reinforcement. But it's really not... I was able to manage it before. Now it's just going to be even easier to manage because we have even more defenses. Okay. Um... And I'll show you guys how they work as we use them. We're just going to keep heading southwest here. I really like how Life Pod 19 is nestled in the sparse reef. Sparse reef is one of my favorite areas. And there certainly is plenty of good stuff to find down there for the uh, Subnautica entrepreneur. Okay, and here we are in the sparse reef. Okay, we're going to head all the way down until we find that crater we found before. Now we've got a depth of 900 meters now, thanks to our upgrades. Uh, so we don't have to worry about depth. The whole surface of the ocean down here is our playground. Okay, here is that big old hole. Okay, I kind of wanted to get a marker but that's not a big deal we're gonna head this way to the west and there should be might be out a little ways 
an even bigger wreck. Is this it right here? I'll be damned. I think this is what I was looking for. Yes, there's the wreck. It's after this. Maybe this isn't it. Nope, this is it. This is it. So you head west of that big hole. Oh, cripes. You know what we forgot? <laughs> Cut this out, guys. I forgot to grab the damn... Uh, we got to go back to that spot. Okay, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, this is the landmark you're looking for, just to the west of that other big hole. There's an arch here. I can't believe what I forgot was these damn tablets. So I had to go back and get the tablets, which is incredibly unfortunate because I just wasted pretty much all the daylight, and uh, I would have liked to have gotten a bit further in the sunlight. But we go down here into this cave. This is what they refer to as the the deep, or the, yeah, I think they call it the deep sparse reef. Here you see we've got two markers, uh, two of the alien technology. So, yep, yeah, that's right. We're going here because it's a lovely little hidden alien data cache. Uh, if you'll remember, when you're looking through the data, and you're looking at uh, the alien data, Terminal data. Yeah, purple, orange. Yellow, orange, alien events. Uh, no, none of this. Well, they told us about. Oh, this this is it. Alien facility locations. Uh, hold up, I can't. That's a little better. Uh, they mentioned the disease research facility. We have the 900 meters, so we can go down there, and eventually we will. Uh, but they also mentioned these other sites here. Uh, the offsite laboratory we're going to hit later. Uh, the primary containment facility we're going to hit later. But we're going to check out these sanctuaries and a hidden third one that it doesn't even mention there. It doesn't give you any hints or clues. Uh, but I'm showing you guys now. This is where it is. Just got to have a purple tablet. Stick it in there. Stick it good. And here we have access. There is uh, ion cubes. And the terminal. Alien Sanctuary Alpha. We'll take a minute to look at that later. I'm going to collect these ion cubes here. Ion cubes don't spawn in the wild, so grab them when you can, because they're the only ones you're going to have. Uh, I know my inventory's not full yet, buddy. There we go. So let's get back to our ladybug here. I called her a ladybug. Aboard, Thank you. She sounds it sounds vaguely feminine to me at least. Alright, um regarding this antechamber, she like have her low green light, they are also regulated peel, low risk sound fave intended to ensure the ideal is for a practical end. The purposes may both be ceremonial and recreational in nature. Ordinate and design, cubes on the pedestals do not drain power, they serve a symbolic purpose, religious iconography, and indicate some shared and ancient cultural history. This was originally referred to as the Precursor Graveyard, or the Precursor Cemetery. I don't know what that sound is. Oh, it's apparently just the sound of this facility. My bad. <laughs> But this is basically where the precursors uh, are buried, or rather met their end. That was a weird sound. The guy was bumping into fish. There's no fish. I don't know. So it is nighttime now. We have lost the advantage of our solar charger. Okay, but it's not a big deal. I'm going to head back up and out, roughly the way I came in. And I say roughly, because the fact is. I still don't know my way around here necessarily all too well. Okay, no, I found it. We're coming back out under the arches. Alright. So yeah, this is the first of the very interesting sites that you can find here. Uh, and of course there's another wreck to explore. So we're going to spend some time doing that. That is a warper. But I don't... There you are. Uh, press the hotkey to activate your... Oh, he's after someone, something else. 
Uh, the warpers go after anything that's infected, so it might not even be you, it could be another fish. Um, to activate uh, any weaponry, you have to hit the hotkey button. Perimeter defense is number four, so that activates it. And then you just left click to use it. And in the case of the perimeter defense, you can also hold it down to charge it. I don't really like that there's warpers around. Uh, most of this stuff we have. I think I have all the fragments that I need. Ah! Oh, he got me, the bastard. There's, there's two more. There's two more warpers. Damage to plant life on the sea floor suggests this may be the migration path of a huge bottom dwelling life form. Okay, I was looking at a data pad down here somewhere before that bastard got me. Alright, I'm not seeing anything. What are you, Cyclops Bridge Fragment? I did complete the scans for the Cyclops. That was one accomplishment I managed. Oh, there it is. It's behind me. I was watching the Warper, that's right. What are you, what are you? Decoy tube upgrade? That could come in handy. New acquired. You here to pick a fight, pal? I'll fight you guys. I'll fight all y'all. Jeez, you guys. There's three of them here. I didn't even know. Hey. Okay. Push the four button. Hold left click to charge it. And then release. Yeah, but I got you guys. ha <laughs> ha. The longer you hold it down, uh, they're back already, the better the range it has. Are you guys going to give up on me? Because I'd like to explore this wreck. As I was saying, I've unlocked pretty much all the technology in the game, so I'm not really looking for any of that. What I'm looking for is the upgrades, mostly Cyclops upgrades, uh, so I'm hoping to get some scans for that. I didn't know there was so much Cyclops stuff out here, too, so that's kind of good to know. I need a hole. A hole big enough to get in. It's a pretty big wreck we got here. Oh. Son of a gun. Excuse me. Okay. So we already got all the arms in previous videos. I'm pretty sure there's no technology left me to unlock really so we're just keeping our eye out for other goodies and also killing time while it's dark out <laughs> arms for you cyclops shield generator okay that's important actually for the end game but you don't have to come all the way out here to get it there is a place that uh, oh there's another holes prawn suit down here that's interesting didn't expect to find that I thought I saw a console is there a console around here uh, maybe I'm fooling myself Okay, apparently I am. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. Oh, wait. Nope, that's sealed up. Alright. So there's not much inside this place. And like I said, I've already gotten a lot of this stuff. I'm really just checking for... Uh, oh, data pad. Data pads are good. Um, it didn't even tell me what it's for. Alright, where did I come in? It was a door. 
not that door. I came down here. There we are. There's Ladybug. Well, there wasn't much in there. Is there another entrance, maybe? Probably not. That's probably, yeah, that's about all I'm going to get. Okay, now, the, the data pad mentioned that, uh, the sun's starting to come up, maybe. That we were on a path of some kind. What I'm going to do is keep heading west. So we're going to look for this path. Excuse me. 